Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 175. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here now for the endurance 187 kilometers of the Nord Cipher. This is the last endurance race. Thank God for that. Uh, it is going to be Nürburgring Nord Cipher full circuit. And it's nine laps. Let's go. All right, let's do this. Whoop, whoop. Xbox 360. Oh, you know what I haven't done? I haven't unmuted the audio. What the fucking fuck are you fucking doing? Barely even started, and already I got cars crashing into me. Right, so where is the pit lane for this? Is it still in this? What? Fuck me. Okay, so the pit lane is over there. That hasn't changed. So the thought is maybe doing the pit stop on lap five. Unless it expects us to do a two stopper, in which case three and six. Nice and easy round number. Fuck me, this is going to be difficult. This car's gripping too much, and the track's too unstable. I mean, it would be possible, you just got to get people that have that kind of humour. The BBC keep getting the wrong people. It's difficult, but at least I'm able to get a distance on the cars behind me, so that's a positive, I guess. I don't have the fucking saline to deal with. No, because here's the thing. I don't know, to be honest. Um... There's too m I, I can tell you this now, there's too many snowflakes on the internet. There's too many people that are just like, um... I find that offensive and whatnot, even though it doesn't impact them. Um... Yeah, I, I, I'm not a fan of... If something doesn't directly affect me, 
Like, for example, me personally, the only things that I can find offensive, right, are anything to do with autism, ADHD, or whatnot. If you insult by making a joke about that, then I'm allowed to be offended by that because it directly affects me. So I, I can be the judge of, and most of the time, nothing offends me, to be fair. But that's how it should be. That's not how it is. You get a lot of people nowadays that get incredibly offended on behalf of other things that don't affect them. Um, Yeah. Get. Okay, so not so great. Honestly, trying to drive this around this track is unbearable right now. I still find it weird that these concept cars even though there's only one seat, they don't drive in the middle. Which you would think would be the most ideal way to place the car or the driver. Place them in the middle. Yeah, a little bit like the McLaren F1. Question is, how much wear is this doing to the tyres? Oh, actually, I can find out exactly. Seven percent wear. Yeah, it's fine. We'll get to lap 5 quite easily. So we'll go to lap 5, pit for fuel and tyres, and then do four more laps. Problem solved. This might actually be a shorter race than I was expecting. Because the last one was an hour and 15 minutes. I think this one's only got to be an hour. Not even an hour. I mean, if you're looking at s six minutes a lap. So much better. It does feel weird though because the last, if I'm not mistaken, Motorsport 1 and Motorsport 2 both finished with endurance races. Um, it feels weird having this really long final race and it not being the end of the game. There's still more stuff to go. And the last race is going to be quite short. Oh yeah, I've just seen what you mean by driving the fat car. Because it literally says fat on it. <laughs> That's fucking great.
the fuck is this? This is not we are the people. Nightmare by Tantrum Desire. Have you said that you're gonna mod your 3DS? You haven't. That sounds fucking awesome. So does this song. See, the really cool thing about um, the 3DS, right, is I don't think you can get it now because the guy retired, but there was a guy that would... Um, I'll get onto that in a minute. But, um, yeah, there's a guy that modded 3DSs and DS's and whatnot, two DS's, so that they had capture cards built into them, like capture devices, you just plug them out of the hardware and plug it into a PC and it worked. The The one thing that I did with, um, I found it fucking awesome, with the PS Vita, I actually modded it, I know it's super cool, that's hardware capture card. I modded my PS Vita to have a software capture card built in that I could just plug a wire into my PC and it would appear as a webcam on OBS. And you could do that. Obviously, I didn't program that. It was already programmed, but I still had to mod it. It was one of the coolest fucking things ever. To be able to just sit there and, like, if I wanted to, stream some... I, obviously, my PS Vita is now bricked. So I can't use it, but it was it was awesome. I bricked it because it wanted. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for anyone I was insulted by bricking a PS Vita, but it was nothing I could do. The modding community was shit. I blame it on the modding community. <laughs> it's your own fault. Um. Yeah, SD cards. I, I think it's because of the fact that there are more uh, retro technology now. So even though um, you can get like large SD cards and whatnot, they are a lot less mass produced, so they're gonna be more expensive. You gotta think, when things are mass produced, they're a lot cheaper to make. So if you're making millions of micro SD cards because phones use them. Even my capture card that I have at the moment has a slot for an SD card. What's running in there, every boy and girl? Take it back. Well, we can try. Yeah, sometimes when things have more memory than they expect, um, they don't know how to manage it that well. Um, typically, a computer can't have more than... I believe a Windows PC can't have more than 16 terabytes as an individual drive that it controls. Or it might be 32 terabytes. 
Anything beyond that, it has to be classed as a server and it has to be controlled by an external device. Like a dedicated server, if I'm not mistaken. I... But obviously that's like individual drives. You can have Windows and put like multiple huge drives in there. It's either 16 or 32 terabytes, something stupid. And obviously you can then run multiple drives in RAID in it. It fucking does it well. So the Switch OLED, I'm a little bit irritated about that, only because of the fact that a lot of people think, oh look, it's a new Switch, it's better. It's not, it's the same as the old one, it's just got a better display. There is zero difference between the two models. Um, but, I really would like to see, Valve, if you do this by the way, I would love you forever. You will be my most favourite company ever. I want them to release... Oh yeah, better kickstand, fair enough. But uh, I want Valve to release a... Um, OLED display for the Steam Deck. That works with the software. Because if they were to make one and then price it for like 120 quid on... Fucking, I fix it as parts as well. I would swap my display out right now on my Steam Deck. Because don't get me wrong, the Steam Deck display is pretty good for a handheld, but A, it's not bright enough, which an OLED typically can get a much higher amount of brightness. And B, the blacks aren't black on it, they're quite a light grey colour. So it'd be nice to have a proper like OLED display in it. Uh. I'm not too sure on the ROG Ally. I haven't tried it, so I can't really say anything about it. But yeah, I don't know. All I do know is the Steam Deck is pretty good. I've heard that the software for the ROG Ally is pretty bad. Um, so it makes the experience, even though it can play some games at higher resolutions and whatnot, it makes the experience worse, which wouldn't surprise me. I would like for Valve to make a more powerful Steam Deck, but knowing Valve, they probably would. But the thing is, with the amount of numbers that the Steam Deck has sold, I can't see them not selling it. Another one, because the problem with the Steam Deck, and it's not a problem with the Steam Deck, but it is at the same time, is the fact that the trackpads are pretty much exclusive to the Steam Deck. Which means I can't then, say for example, have the ROG Ally run... The thing is, if I got the Ally, I would be running SteamOS on it, because it's more bare bones, and it would work better, and it would play the games better. So I would run SteamOS, Steam Deck OS. But again, the problem with that is the fact that you then have this system 
that doesn't have the track pads. It doesn't utilize what the Steam Deck is capable of and why the Steam Deck is so good. Hence why they need to make a more powerful Steam Deck. If they, in a year's time or two years time, made a more powerful Steam Deck and said, here's the Steam Deck 2, it's double the performance of the last one. Take my money. So that's three laps done. So I got 13 seconds ahead of the car behind me. Somebody's lost their wing. My wing is falling off. I keep getting messages. I'm gonna have to check my messages after. I mean, to be fair, I'll do this. I'll finish the stream, anyways. But yeah, for anyone watching this right now, tomorrow. Uh, obviously, if you're watching this on as like a video afterwards, this doesn't apply. But uh, if you're watching this live, uh, tomorrow morning, I'm going to be playing F123. And then on Sunday, we're going to be playing more Forza Motorsport. And then on, I believe, Tuesday, we're playing yet more Forza Motorsport. So... Lots of stuff to be doing. Yeah, I'm super excited for um, getting the new capture card, getting the new hardware.
Pick up speed! I know it's going uphill, so... A little bit off road. A little bit of off road racing now. There's the campsite. Seven hundred hours in F1 2016. Jesus Christ! Why do you have so much time in that one game? I mean, to be fair, 2016 was a very good game, but it was the last good F1 game. Actually, no, 2017. I think. Was I'm really looking forward to playing F1 on, uh, what's it called, in a mega series. That'd be awesome, I think. There's three mega series that I have planned. I've got MotoGP, which is to sort of help me get into bike games, but I'm... I don't know whether it would just go to shit from the start. F1, which wouldn't be a lot of time with each game. I'd only do, like, one race. I don't think all of them will be PC. Um, I could, in theory, do it, but it would cost a lot of money. So, I'd have to know that I'm getting a lot of money from it to do all of the games on PC. Because I've got F1 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, and 2023 on PC. So...
Okay, back on track. Yeah, I'm thinking of getting that one at some point. Because obviously 2015 is cheap. But all the other ones are quite expensive. So F1 2020 I have because of EA Play, so that's fine. Even though it's been delisted off of EA Play, it's still available. Uh, 2019 I have to buy, I think. I'm not sure whether it's 2018 I have or 2019. That was dreadful. So yeah, that's kind of the plan. We have to see what happens. I can't just start planning something that I don't know if it's going to work or be ready yet or etc, etc. I still haven't planned out Motorsport 4, how I'm going to be structuring that yet. I mean, Motorsport 3 was pretty planned out from the start. When I started doing it. But like, I've got to get onto Motorsport 4 and start playing Motorsport 4 soon. Which, now that I think about it, in about a month's time, before September, we'll be playing Motorsport 4. Like, as YouTube videos, not just live streams. But, um... It might be even earlier than that, because the plan is to start doing double uploads from September to December. End of December. Because I want to catch up, basically. Long story short. I'm going to be working hard for the next four months, like, seriously hard, to try and get it to work out. So, if you guys want to help support the channel, feel free to share. Oh, shit. Come on, let me rewind. Let me rewind. Oh, my God. Um, it won't let me rewind. It won't let me rewind. What the fuck? There we go.
I'm rewinded. How far back does it let you go? Will it let me go far enough back? Oh my gosh, it will as well. I think. Ha! Ah. I forgot the bit! <laughs> oh my gosh, that was a panic and a half! No, that other car thinks that it'll make it, so... But, uh, do you know what? I don't care. Because I don't think I'll, I'll make it. There we go. We're back on track. <laughs> See, normally I'd cut that out, but I think it's going to have to stay because it's funny. At least it's not as bad as when I was playing Gran Turismo and I was doing the 50 lap challenge and I forgot to pit on lap 10 when I was supposed to pit and I ended up running out of fuel. Not being allowed to go back to the pits because the game is clapped and just being stranded. So I had to quit that race and then do 40 more laps as a separate race because I had already been driving for about an hour and a half. I wasn't going to be doing that again. Ding dong, ding dong, bing bong, bing bing bong. The problem is the rewind button bug on this game. Uh, it always happens when you don't want it. Like, when you actually want to rewind, the rewind doesn't work. And then, whenever you don't need it, it's constantly telling you, Ah, oh, press this button to rewind! And you're like, oh, for fuck's sake. But, it would have been nice, because that bug has happened the last three races consistently. It happened on the R3 race, when we had the crash because the controller bugged out and then it would rewind. Eh, it happened on the R2 race on when we overshot a corner, so we just had to fucking put up with it and try and catch up, which we managed to because the fact that AI was terrible in the last section of the race, but still annoying. And now it's happened in this one when I've missed the pit stop. Yeah, we don't have much left to go. Ah, ha, ha, that was fucking terrible. Though, to be fair, let's be real. In the 24 hour of Nürburgring, that happens a lot. Cars just crashing into each other and pushing each other off. Bum 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 b
That is one of the most sensitive steering wheels ever. Take you undercover on the run, baby. The night is young. I cannot be a plus, 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 be a plus one. But yeah, I'm looking forward to Motorsport 4 because that is the best Motorsport game that's ever released. I can be a plus one. Yeah, that's a good thing, because then I can order it. It's not too bad. Um, yeah, it's CEX that I'm actually... Wow, well, I was thinking of selling the capture card to. But the problem is, they give you nothing for it. Hence why if somebody wants a capture card for about 50 quid, I win, you win because it's cheap. So, cheaper than what CEX is selling it for. Otherwise, I just have to take a voucher and then get a load of games or whatnot. when it comes to consoles like racing or just in general um yeah mostly racing games to be fair um I'm not really a fan of like I don't know FPS games are alright but I prefer them on mouse and keyboard so I'd be getting those kind of things Yeah, once I finish Motorsport 3, I might actually just go straight on to Motorsport 4.
This is a chew. Cause you a cinch, that's a no, no. Motherfucker. Uh. Yo, night in competition. What up? How are you doing today? Hopefully you're having a good day. Welcome to the stream. You're playing multiple three as well. Awesome. Awesome, man. Motorsport three is one of the best motorsport games. The only one that's better is obviously Motorsport four, because that's basically just Motorsport three, but better. But Motorsport three is a really, really good game still. So good. If you are enjoying the stream, everyone in chat, feel free to uh, give a like as it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And also feel free to drop a sub as we're playing a lot of Forza content lately. I've got over 300 Forza Motorsport videos as part of my Forza Mega series. So there's plenty of Forza content if you want. got a new capture card on the way and hopefully I've, I've noticed um, with OBS and I believe it is the capture card because everything I've tried to fix it even when I run OBS just on its own is the only thing on my PC with um, no Kodo oh my god Kodo you're a moron Cardo's gotten into cryptocurrency. Uh,
What is it, tune? This was actually, I believe, on Need for Speed 2015, if I'm not mistaken. Yo, not in competition. Thank you for that subscription, my man. Appreciate it. We, we got another lap and a half, and then we're done. And then I can rip into Kodo for starting cryptocurrency. <laughs> So yeah, um, the stream schedule for the next week is up. If you actually take a look at the live tab, when you look at my channel, you should be able to see all the upcoming live streams. But uh, tomorrow is going to be F1. I'm very excited to play F1 23 on stream because that is a really fun game. So looking forward to doing that. Uh, and then after that is going to be, um, what's it called? We're going to do some more Motorsport 3 on Sunday. And then on Tuesday, we're going to have a little bit more Motorsport 3 again. And I'm hoping that Tuesday's stream will be the last Motorsport 3 stream. Because we are getting close to the end of the game. Uh, and I'm hoping that that means we can then start moving on to Motorsport 4, which is the game that I've been most excited for. So. It's been about a year since I started this game, and it's almost finished, but Motorsport 4 is going to take about a year to complete from start to finish. So, it's going to be fun. Well, obviously, Motorsport 3 actually has... Uh, sorry, Motorsport 4 has some extra events, like uh, Top Gear challenges and whatnot. So, it's going to be slightly different. We'll see how it goes. Ooh. See what happens. final lap now. Speed 
Diddy car. Let's see if we can get a faster slap. Because as you can see with the split times up there, we're actually quicker. So let's see if we can do it. Let's get faster slap time. but that would have lost us only about 0.2 of a second. This is a catchy song. Size. Is it your first time? Let me show you things that they warn you about. You've got to buy. I like that. You're gonna need it. You're not making it easy for me. Strutting around here in those boom boom shots. Remember me. You can do it if you like. Hands have gone tingly from the constant vibration. It'd be even worse if I was using the 360 controller though. My hands would be completely numb from the start. Looking forward to uh, actually starting Horizon 1 as well. That's going to be quite fun. Actually, now that I think about it, there hasn't been a Forza Motorsport or a game similar to that, like Project Cars, since 2020. Project Cars came out in 2020. 
right? I think so. There hasn't been just a, oh, take some cars and race them around a circuit game for almost three years. Sorry, Gran Turismo in 2021. Forgot that even existed. But let's be honest, of course I'm going to forget that existed. It's shite. The fact that in three years, though, one game has come out that's been that style of game. It's kind of disappointing for the gaming industry as a whole. only taken a while. That was a good finish though. But yeah, I'll take my rewards. By the way, we have channel memberships down below. That has access to lots of extra perks if you want to check those out. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.